Hello, thank you for joining me. So this is video number nine in our series, how to do your door in a week two assignment. It shows you various options with regard to making cuts and fillets and chamfers in regard to creating the panels, and making sure these are all symmetric, and putting in a window as, a, as another way of doing it. And what I'd like to do in this video is kind of show you how to finish up that window, make sure it's uh, transparent, add some uh, appearances to it, and add some background to it too if you want to do that. We're going to do that for next week too, by the way. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the window by putting in uh, some fillets around there to make it look like it's blocked with uh, some molding on the sides to keep the black gas from uh, the gas, the glass, the glass from falling out. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's, uh, we've already created our uh, our bodies. We have a door body and a window body as uh, described before, and these are are created as separate bodies because when we did our window down here, we did that with uh, the merge result unchecked. So what we can do, because these bodies precede the material, uh, we can assign a different material to the window or the door if we desire to, and uh, kind of go from there. So if we click on Window, and go over here to the Appearance tab in our uh, Task Manager on the right-hand side, we can choose a different uh, texture and uh, appearance to it. So we're going to click on Glass, uh, maybe Textured Glass perhaps, it's Frosted Glass, Glass Fiber, uh, we can pick colors of that if we wanted to, but uh, we're going to go to some stock items here, and I'm going to pick uh, maybe brown glass or green glass. We'll do green glass. And this might be important. It may not look very good right now. It just kind of looks like a kind of a faded green color, but it is somewhat transparent. You can see that over here. And um, when we do our photorealistic uh, rendering of this next week, this will become a little bit more apparent of uh, the choices we make here. Something else we might want to do while we're here is uh, pick a scene. Uh, there are basic scenes in here, and all you have to do is click on that scene. I think three-point beige, beige is one, three-point blue is another one, and various colors, three-point orange, kind of neat. These are basic scenes, but as you go down uh, the, the series down here, you go from uh, some of the more basic scenes to some that have a little bit more detail to them. Reflective floor black, reflective floor checkered. Let's look over, you're getting a whole lot of checker in there. And some other ones, Misty Blue Slate. But as we go down to presentation scenes, it actually embeds an image in the background. We can do our kitchen image, which, uh, you know, we can change the perspective of the door a little bit. We'll cover that in another video. Kind of looks like a mini door on top of somebody's chopping block. But uh, the courtyard scene actually looks pretty good. Now, I'm told this isn't the Louvre or um, Versailles, but uh, I think it's somewhere in Europe, uh, some European uh, you know, palace of some kind. But uh, this kind of shows you that there is transparency to that glass, and we will uh, cover that in a little bit more detail when we do photo grill rendering in a couple films hence. So let's go ahead and uh, take, get rid of our scene. If we go up here, we have a new tab up here now in our uh, managers. This is the display manager. I'm going to right click on scene, I'm going to go ahead and delete that scene. It's going to revert back to its, uh, um, its default scene. And I believe it's called uh, a three point faded scene. So it's always got a scene in the background, it's just that this one's called Three Point Faded, it's the default setting. So one last thing I want to do is I want to put a chamfer, or a, um, a pardon me, a fillet around the window to make it look like it's being encased by, um, by molding. So we're going to go to the fillet option, the last time we chose it I think it was a quarter of an inch. We're going to click on that edge, and this edge. And if a quarter inch doesn't look like it's doing much here, we can probably make that a little bit bigger, but it's getting pretty close to the glass, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Now let's go ahead and do the other side too. Click on that edge and this edge. And that should help finish it out. Green check mark. And we're all set. So here's the test. Let's go back to our feature manager. Let's go back to our basic strew. Remember the whole idea amongst us. And I haven't tried this yet. If we want to change the size of our door, if we want to make it two inches bigger and everything increases by two inch increments, we can do that. So let's go ahead and make this 37.75. Green check mark, and this should be 81. So we're going to make the door two inches taller to be an 82 by 38 inch door. And uh, let's go to green check mark, and everything looks good. The panels expanded uh, symmetrically, so there should be the same amount of room over here as there is over here. Of course, the space in the bottom uh, should be the same, eight and a half inches down here, four and a quarter inches on top. The window expanded. These uh, panels got a little bit bigger because uh, the window got wider and taller. So this uh, window moved up a little bit, and that moved these panels up. The distance here stays the same, and let's go to the other side. 
So that's a requirement of the assignment, is to make sure that uh, when you do change those two dimensions, that your door changes proportionally too, and I hope these videos helped. So thanks for joining me. Join me for, uh, uh, easy to say here. Join me for some other videos.